Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Level Up, episode 32. And today's question comes from, oh, excuse me. Hi, hi, I'm Dr. Kate Campbell, and hi. I just wanted to give you my, my business card, just in case you have any clients that send my way, that would be awesome. Okay, thanks so much. Let me get to the next person. Old way of marketing is out. Um, so Sarah Baum asked us, what am I missing with marketing? I heard the old ways are out. Stuff like that, not acceptable. Yes, yeah, some of the old ways of marketing are out. Actually, before we dive into this question, because I got so excited and passionate about it, let's just take a step back. And we're Kate and Katie of the Private Practice Startup, and you're watching Level Up, where we help you build and grow your dream practice and live that dream lifestyle. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty <laughs> funny, right? I'm sure you guys have experienced that. You go to a networking event and it's like the business card pushing. It's the biggest oh. turn off ever. I hate when that happens. Anyways, we're Kate and Katie and we want to say thank you to Therapy Notes for sponsoring this series. They're an amazing EHR platform. If you guys are in need of an EHR, definitely check them out for your first two months for free. Use the code PPS as in private practice startup and just go to therapynotes.com. So you're right. Some of the old ways of doing business are completely out. Leaving leave behinds, passing out business cards. People are into relationships. Mm -hmm. They want a relationship with you. And they also want to know how you stand out. Have you ever gone to a networking event where there's a dozen therapists, a dozen CPAs, a dozen real estate agents, and they really don't seem much different than the other? And that's where really getting clear on your brand and having an authentic brand that speaks to your personality, your strengths, what makes you unique as a therapist and how you show up in the world and how you help the people that you serve because nobody else does that exactly like you. And then also be, being really clear on who you serve and how you help them because when you're clear on your niche and you speak from your why, of why you do what you do in a way that your passion just pours out of you, that is captivating and that's what inspires people to remember you and to want to work with you and to want to refer to you as well. And remember, your referral partners or the people who are referring to you are also should be seen as your clients. Um, they have a need. It's really important to discover what their need is. So I know we're talking a little bit about the community-based marketing aspect, but there's also online. Come on, you got to think about where do you go when you need something? I mean, I go to Amazon, but Google. <laughs> you're Type always in. online. So if you're not online, you're really missing a huge opportunity. So having a high client converting website, good SEO, even when it comes to your business name, your business name can create good SEO. So there's so many things that really require kind of the new way of marketing and the old is out. And Google ads are also a great way awesome. to really highly target your marketing as long as you have those clear specialty pages on your website. I know we've talked about that in previous Level Up episodes. It's something that we are super emphatic about because you can't just drive just traffic to your, your homepage. That's not no. going to do anything. No. You got to make sure you have those specific services pages listed out. But ultimately, the good news, Sarah, is whatever it is that you decide to do, even though there might be some old ways of marketing, I'm not sure what all the old ways are, and some newer ways of marketing, is you really have to know your ideal client, your niche. You need to know how to speak to them, but also speak to everyone else in regards to those people who are possibly referring to you. And that's what we're so passionate about. Yes, how many times have you heard people, or maybe you've experienced this yourself, somebody asks you what it is that you do, and you get tongue-tied. You don't know how to say it is, what it is that you do, and oh, it's I'm a therapist, I you utilize CBT with a little bit of EMDR, and I work with highly sensitive. <laughs> All the, that mean? <laughs> all the clinical language and the alphabet soup, like you lose people. So it's so important to know exactly how to speak in a way that is really clear about Simple. who you serve, how you help them, and then inspires people to want to refer to you or work with you. And that's something that we can help you with. And that, that's a great question. So Sarah, thank you so much for your question. And we're going to pop the link for our private practice marketing e-course we have two different tracks for that. We've got the eCourse only and the eCourse plus coaching. We'll pop that in the resources section. And if you guys are enjoying this series, definitely keep sending us your questions. You can find the Ask Us. You almost tripped me up. <laughs> Last episode, I was so impressed that she's never tripped up because she could have said something. You almost Not so polite. <laughs> yes. So look for the Ask Us episode. Ask us post in our Facebook group, The Private Practice Startup, and you can pop your question there. We're happy to get it answered. We hope you guys are loving this series as much as we are. We're having so much fun answering your questions. Yep. And remember, you guys got this. Definitely got this. We're right here cheering you on, and we'll see you next week. Have an awesome, inspired day, everybody. Take care.